credit score itself isn't going to de deny you from a VA loan. Uh, your credit history and rental history very well may, right? That's what we have to do when we go through a pre-approval. Um, young blood, can I get a barn door with a VA loan? Yes, you can. You can buy one or you can build one. Roman. Roman, do you need just one year of college before the military to become an officer? Um, Roman, that's a question for a recruiter. Uh, and there's probably some folks on here that can answer that question, but we don't actually know the answer to that. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm sorry. Croberson, Croberson, C. Roberson. <laughs> yeah, you t you're passing it off to me? Yes. Uh, 640 credit. And my man, sa same for you. I just covered it on the gentleman with the 578. Your credit score in and of itself isn't going to gonna deny you. Uh, we, we don't have a credit score minimum, guys. Unless you're doing the VA one-time close, standard VA for an existing property or a multi-unit, if it's there and existing, we don't have a credit score minimum. Um, M MKB, can two separate married couples, one from each couple is a veteran, buy one house together using a VA loan? Yes, you can. Yep, you can have two married couples and do split joint entitlement for the two veterans to split entitlement. As long as you all are going to be living in the property. Yes, as long as you're all occupying the property. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Real Highlight 17, trying to buy my first house. I need help. Cool. We can help you. Uh, you know, you can ask some questions in here. We can give you short little quick answers like we do, or you can shoot us a DM, or you can go to one of our web pages and you can schedule a little bit of time and we'll do a face to face and kind of walk you through and answer whatever, you know, questions or challenges that you're having. User 735, if my dad served and now has 100% disability, is there anything I can do for a mortgage with that? So unfortunately, the VA home loan benefit does not pass down to children or dependents, only a spouse, a surviving spouse of a deceased service member that was um, died from a service-connected disability could use the VA home loan benefit. Otherwise, children do not get the benefit. GI Bill, yes, but not the um, VA home loan benefit. But your dad could be on the loan with you and you could both live in the, he'd have to occupy the property with you. Missy, you're back with a one-time closed construction loan. Will builder require money down or will lender take care of that? Uh, typically what you're talking about there is a contingency, right? And there is always and should always be a contingency. Typically what we find, we do have a contingency, it's 2%. Um, a lot of times if we are collecting the contingency, the builder will let theirs go. Um, as long as there is some money in the deal, uh, to, to in case something you know comes up, prices go up, whatever. There's any kind of a mishap. So yes, typically that would be the deal. Uh, but as far as I mean, I can't speak on behalf of. There may be builders out there that are like, nope, I don't care. We want a down payment. Uh, but for the bulk of ours and the ones that we've worked with, that's what we see happen. Um. Yes, I have a VA OTC now in construction. APR was five point eight seven five with new rates coming. Can I refi before close? Jess, who are you doing your VA one-time closed construction loan with? Is that with us or is that with another mortgage company? If you were with us and you were in the construction phase of your loan where you're building the house, you do have a one-time free float down. Once you're hundred percent completed and the, the mortgage note is being modified, you do have a one-time free float down that is exercised once the house is done. And if rates are lower, then you can exercise that free float down. Um, but if you're in the middle of the construction, there's nothing that we can do. Now, I don't know about the lender that you're working with. So let us know who it is. Mm -hmm. uh, Augustus Eternal, how many years of verifiable income required? So a little bit different on what kind of income <clears throat> that, that, you're, that you're getting. If you're business for self, if you're 1099 income, it's two years of filed tax returns. Uh, typically, if there's something, if you have a long history of doing something and you have at least one year filed, sometimes we can get the exception, but that's what it is. If your business for self, if you're a standard W-2 worker, <clears throat> then we're really, I mean, we're getting a 30 day pay stub, right? That's, that's really typically what we're going off of. Unless you get some, uh, like if you're a nurse or a truck driver, you have like variable pays and shift differentials and load, all this stuff. Then we get a verification of employment. And, uh, and that typically just on there, they'll just fill out like the last three years if that's applicable. Um, but we are also looking for a two year work history. Doesn't have to be at the same spot. Just want to see that you've worked for two years. Um, let's see, Justin. No, sorry. Just like Jesus does. Uh, what's the credit based on what credit or what score do you need? There is no minimum credit score on VA loans. Lenders will place their own overlays and say you need a 720 or 680 or 600 or whatever they say, 620. We do not have a minimum credit score requirement because we go based off of the VA handbook. You do, however, have to have reestablished credit. VA requires you reestablish your credit, which means 12 months of on-time payments. So in, um, in your credit cards, student loans, auto loans, all of that stuff. 
and then 24 months of on-time rent paid. Uh, right.
2021 to 2022, we haven't seen an increase that substantial the entire time I've been in the business, which is 23 years. So that was a really, really massive increase for the real estate industry and mortgage industry to see that it was like two and a half points, three. No, it was more than that. We went from in the twos and threes to in the eight. So yeah. five percentage point increase. It was huge. Okay, people are asking their questions now. Mitch, down payment requirements. There's no down payment requirement on a VA loan. There's closing costs on a VA loan. So you have to negotiate the closing costs into the transaction. But if you have an, enough entitlement, you can go zero down. Uh, Stephen Edward, I'm trying to understand it. How much over asking are you seeing people pay to assume low rates on someone else's VA loan? On an assumption? Yes. Yeah, so they're, I mean, you're you're just assuming that rate, right? You can't, you can't buy it down when you're doing an assumption. He's saying um, how much over asking price are you, are they escalating home prices to assume? Oh, a lower interest I gotcha. Rate? Um, I don't, I don't know there. Cause I mean, it's still, seen. yeah, it still has to appraise and everything. I don't, I don't know. And people, a lot of people don't want to wait for an assumption. Yeah. There, that's the thing guys. There isn't a lot of assumptions going, going down comparatively. So yeah, I, I haven't seen them really jacking it up there to offset for it, but that's a good, a totally valid question. Risk takers asking that's the job or mentions that's the job of the title company. I don't know what that's related to. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't either. Pimp credit score. Do you need to get the max loan amount? Um, really, again, no minimum credit score on VA loans, right? So, but if you're going for a max loan amount, mm -hmm. like five million, six million, there is no max loan amount, right, on a VA but there, loan. But there was a. Um, you, you said we do have a credit overlay. What is it though? It's like above. Uh, it's got to be above a six hundred or something. No, like it's just no. You just have to have lower debt to income ratio if you're below five eighty. Oh, that's how it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have, we don't have a max though. You know, and if you're not using any of your entitlement, you don't have a max either. The county loan limit doesn't apply to you. Uh, literally, literally got a guy that was uh, shopping in Seattle for over five mil. That would, would have been zero down. Uh, what about IRS lien problem? Um, oh, oh, and then we missed that one. Uh, hold on. Shay can dual active use both loans at once. So, Yes, you guys could have two loans, but not simultaneously because you both have to occupy, right, as a primary. So typically what we see people do is one of you goes first on one loan, you live there for a while, then one of you goes first on the next loan, you live there for a while, and then you just kind of ping pong that back and forth. Um, Ryan, current uh, United States Air Force, Air Force 01, can I leverage a VA loan into a string of properties through my career? Yes, you absolutely can. Mm -hmm. How? Ryan, I would look at the multifamily option if I were you um, or single family. Single family also works, but if multifamily is a good option, it depends on your duty station and where you are because then you can rent out to other service members and have you know immediate income coming in to help leverage and offset that payment so you can save more money and then buy another home at the next duty station or a year down the road, you could buy multiple homes at the same duty station. So after 12 months, you can move out and buy again. So I like the multifamily first. The only bummer with multifamily from what you're saying, I think, Ryan, is you're probably going to bounce around a little bit and multifamily is more expensive. It's going to burn up more of your entitlement. So you wouldn't be able to use your benefit unless you, you know, free up some of that entitlement. So with single family, if you were trying to do that and just get a house here, house there, house there, um, single family, smaller purchase price, because essentially you're going to run into a problem at some point where you've run out of entitlement um, because you have a little chunk with each one of these houses. And it depends on where you're at, yeah, totally. where you're at. Some places you in at? like South Carolina are very affordable. Um, North Carolina, Georgia, the South tends to be more affordable and it tends to be a better place to be a landlord as well. Um, but it's also easier to buy a multifamily first and then switch to single family than it is to go single family and then switch to multifamily because they're always going to question your occupancy if you're going from single family to multifamily. What about if I get divorced, Julius? Um you can get a divorce and you can still retain your house and your VA loan through the divorce, but it, you need to make sure that you negotiate the divorce properly. Make sure you get an attorney that represents you and that is looking out for your best interests and things that will protect your credit in the divorce. And as far as the property, I mean, we've I've seen divorce decrees come through where it is named to go to one uh, the, the, one of the spouses. Yeah, they had to refi another one out after a while. They are forced to sell the property. I mean, I've seen it come out of a bunch of different ways. Yep. Um, so did I already, I already did that one. And then it was, uh, I see Mitch, what about IRS lien? Is that a problem? Um, did they change that if you have a payment plan? IRS tax lien. Mm, let me look that one up. I don't up. remember the guideline on that one, Mitch. I'm sorry, man. It's we, uh, we see a lot of tax like IRS debt owed. Yeah. Debt owed is not, not a problem. Not necessarily converted to a lien as much. Mm -hmm. So do you want to go to the next question? I'll look. Yeah. Jeremy's retired army, hundred percent VA. I make 120 K uh, with as a share of a Tampa. Can I buy a 780 K house? 
Uh, Jeremy, that's awesome, my friend. So uh, you've got a good amount of money coming in there, right? I just don't know what's going out and I don't know your family size. I know the area, I know the taxes. It sounds to me like you're you're probably okay. But you know, this in the same breath that I would say that, I, if I pull your credit, I see all kinds of debts coming out of there. Obviously that's gonna, that's gonna take you down. I don't have a DTI cap. Um, you know, so I'm not worried about that, but there is still always going to be the VA residual income and there, and that's a hard stop if we're not making it. And as Brooks mentioned earlier, for over uh, 41, uh, for your DTI, it's 120% of the VA's uh, guideline on that one. So that's what would be what would stop you. So it sounds like you are probably in a really good spot there as long as you don't, don't have a bunch of debt. Uh, Vans, do you lose VA if you have an OTH separation? Uh, vans, not always, you know, we, we have definitely put some folks with an OTH in, into a home, but there is a lot of stipulations and it absolutely is harder, uh, than a, a general or, uh, an honorable, uh, Brittany. So since our rate is 225 or 2.25 and we want to tap into our equity, we shouldn't write since high rates. Well, Brittany, I, I definitely wouldn't look at a, a, a VA cash out. I would look at a, a, some kind of a second mortgage, whether it be a closed end second or a home equity line of credit. If it's something that you want to be able to, to use um, to charge up and kind of pay down, then a HELOC. If it's something where you just want to get a chunk of money, then a closed end second can, can make a lot of sense as well, where you just get your lump and you just pay it down in, in, in installments. And when it's done, it's done. Uh, okay, Quinn's Racing. I'm looking to purchase my first home in Texas. Where do I start? A anybody that's looking to start and and uh, and purchase a home for the first time, it always starts with a loan application. That can be done by there's a link in Brooks in Brooks bio you guys can follow, or you can go to either one of our web pages, baloanbish.com, bamicdrop.com, um, and, and there's a, a button in there that says you know get pre-approved. So that's where you start. It's a loan application. It's 10 or 15 minutes. It's followed up by a soft credit poll. Uh, and then you're working through getting supporting documents to support the information you just plugged into that loan application. Pretty straightforward, as I, I don't mean to repeat myself, but um, people have literally done it while we're in the live and they come back and go, I just did it. Everything submitted. That was so easy. So it it, it is it is pretty painless. But that's where you start. You got to get your pre-approval. Always start with financing, you guys. Always. Um, OK. Do you have to have a spouse on the loan? Oh. Hold on, questions just reset. Let me get back to that one. So really quickly on the tax question. Um, so there's a thing called CAVERS. And CAVERS is a federal debt, um, delinquent debt like tracker. So like if you have any federal delinquent debt, like federal student loans or um, debt that you owe the IRS that is delinquent beyond just a payment plan into a lien status, you could come up in what's called CAVERS. So you have to have clear CAVERS in order to qualify. So it could be that you have clear cavers, but you have a tax lien. And if that's the case, you have to be on a payment plan for your tax lien. Um, the tax lien, a borrower cannot be considered a satisfactory credit risk if he or she has a judgment lien against his or her property for a debt owed to the government until the judgment is paid or otherwise satisfied. So that's typically going to be the answer. Um, so yeah, sorry, that is the answer. They've updated, they just revised the guidelines um, on this chapter. So I was trying to read through it. Uh, Brittany, do you have to have spouse on loan and is there a time requirement for income only being VA disability? Um, so no, if you've got VA disability, we can definitely use it. Uh, you don't have to have your spouse on loan. There is certain community property states where we have to at least have a joint credit pull so we can look at debt from both sides of the household. Um, if you want to be using income from a spouse, then they would need to be on the loan. Uh, but if you don't, no, they don't need to be on there and there is no minimum on receiving VA disability. Holly, can you buy three homes in the same city with VA if not used all entitlement with the first two? Uh, Holly, you definitely can. You know, there's no limit. It's not like FHA where you got to purchase 50 miles away or 100 miles away or whatever it was uh, with a VA. I mean, we, we literally have had people buy a house here. Uh, we, we had Ron. Ron bought a house. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even a house. It in was a, a townhome. Uh, a townhome here. And then a few months later, bought the townhome, two townhomes down from him, all connected. Um, so yeah, no, no issue with that. And as long as you have the entitlement and, and you can, you know, you intend to occupy it as your primary, then you'd be good to go on that. Mary and some lenders will overlay that Holly. So that's why maybe why you've heard that. 
Um, can you explain VA loan assumption? Gosh, I feel like we've done this a mm -hmm. few times tonight. It must be popular. VA loan assumption is where you have a veteran who owns a home using their VA loan and a buyer wants to come along and assume the interest rate on the loan that's in existence on the home. You're going to assume the rate and you're going to assume the balance. So if the veteran is selling their home for 500,000, but they only owe 300,000, you have to make up the $200,000 difference cash. Um, Additionally, you have to bring closing costs to the table. And additionally, you might have to pay real estate commissions, depending on whether or not the seller is including those things in the home purchase, um, home sale. If you're a veteran, you can, you're going to want to, and you can replace their VA loan entitlement. You can assume a home as a non-veteran, but if you're a veteran, you probably don't want a non-veteran, a civilian assuming your VA loan, because if they default on the loan, then... Um, you could lose that portion of your VA loan entitlement. The other major thing about assumptions is nobody knows how long they're going to take to process. Sometimes they take 45 days to close. Sometimes they, they don't close and people are still waiting for them for eight months. So those are the biggest challenges with assumptions and benefits. Bailey Parr. Uh, Bailey, is there a period of time at the military to get approved for the VA loan if you are starting new JB um, or, or job maybe? Job. Um, so is there a period of time at the military to get approved? So I, I, I think, Out of the military? I don't know if maybe you're talking about separating from the military. So Bailey, if that's the case, I can tell you this, if you're active duty and we're trying to use active duty income and along with your, your BH or BS, anything like that, um, then we need to be seeing, uh, as long as you are just enlisted, we need to see at least 12 months remaining on your LES, um, before you discharge. So if that's in there and that, and that's from the time that we close. So we want to see a continuance of that income. So if you are beyond that, then we have to do, there either has to be a, a job offer letter free of contingencies that we can approve you on. And you'd have to be able to start it within a reasonable amount of time. Um, or we have to get a letter from you stating that you intend to reenlist and a letter from someone in your unit saying that you are able to reenlist. Um, then we'd be able to use your active duty. Um, you're welcome, Brittany, for answering everybody's questions. Kojo, what collateral does your bank put up? Um, we don't put up collateral. You guys put up collateral when the when there's a loan issued on a residential property. The collateral is the property, right? And we're the ones financing. And we all finance. The, the so property. we put up all the collateral. When we personally finance, we put up collateral as well. So, like when we're purchasing our own properties. Um, Abby and Chanel, thanks for following. Stephen Light, say fifty. Thanks for following. Um, dirt poor homestead. Any info on buy land and build? No income, 100% disabled, zero debt, 700 plus credit score. Thank you. Dirt poor. Go to my YouTube. There's a video under my um, channel, which is VA Loan Bish, B I S H. And you will find an hour and a half long video that goes into all the details about the buy land and build program. There's a couple of videos on there. One's about picking a builder and things to ask the builder. And then one is all about the land, buy land and build. So check that out. And then we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation if you still have questions. It's just a lot of detail, and I won't be able to get to it in a five-minute period of time. Um, if TikTok goes away, how can I still follow you? Yes, Athena, thank you for asking. YouTube, um, VA Loan Bish, B-I-S-H on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, also Facebook and Instagram, but YouTube is really where we spend, where I'm trying to spend more time. We are putting all of our videos over on YouTube. Um, Chad Underwood. Uh, Chad, do you qualify if you got a bad conduct discharge? Typically not. You'd have to have a first term of service where you were received no an honorable. Yep, yep. And that will trump that. Do you suggest for single new, newly commissioned handsome? What do you suggest for a single newly commissioned handsome U.S. Marine Corps officer? Well, is there any other kind of U.S. Marine Corps Just officer? Keep being a bad <laughs> MF. Um, I mean, I suggest you buy real estate because there's nothing sexier than a man that has, or female, I don't know if you're male or female, handsome could be handsome. either way, oh, it's probably a man. Could be. but anyways, there's nothing more attractive than people who own their own real estate because that real estate appreciates in value. And I mean, you guys have seen it, right? You can get old and, and all kinds of things. If you have lots of real estate and money, you can still catch some good tail. <laughs> wow. I That's don't know where horrible. she's going with it. I know that real estate is a whole lot sexier than a Mustang. So like, yeah, buy homes. And the Mustang depreciates. Amy Cox, short sale in Florida when market crashed 2013. Can't oh, you had a short sale. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, absolutely. So a short sale, the after a short sale, <clears throat> there um there is a, a waiting. Actually, there isn't a I think it was a year. From, yeah. 12 months so, from any delinquencies. That's it. So you'd have a year, you're you're far past that. So you don't have to worry about the waiting period. But then they would look into if the VA had any kind of a loss. 
Uh, that takes about a year in and of itself for them to figure out. If they did, then you've lost that portion of your entitlement, not your entitlement as a whole. So you still have remaining entitlement. Um, and, you know, in the, the only way in case that someone wouldn't is if they had a really expensive house um, and they burned up then all their entitlement. The VA took a, a full loss on it. It's it's like it ain't gonna happen. So yeah, you still have entitlement left, and you'd be uh, able to use that. Um, we're going to wrap up questions real quickly here, you guys, because we are going two hours in and it's 1130 where we are and we have to get up and work in the morning. So, um, Jazzy, if we start a VA loan with both incomes later, have one income due to pregnancy, will that interfere, interfere closing? Well, you're going to hopefully be closed by the time you go to the one income. Technically, if you go on pregnancy leave, maternity leave, we can use maternity leave income if you have like, um, disability income or something like that. But... We're also not, lenders are not allowed to discriminate against someone who's pregnant either. So, you know, there's like, there's, we need more information because you're saying, does it interfere with closing later? Well, if you buy with two incomes, nothing happens after you close on the house and you moved into it and you stop working because you're pregnant and you stay at home with kids. That's not a problem. If you haven't closed and you go to one income, yes, that would be a problem. If you quit your job and go to yeah. one income, yeah. <clears throat> you're going the wrong way. Um, All right. Don't touch, stop touching stuff. Where are we located? We are located all across the country. We have locations all across the country. Mike and I are physically in Texas. Er, where are we? Oh Florida. We're Holy Florida. shit. We're in Florida. We have branches in Texas and in a lot of other states across the country. We be in Florida. <laughs> Heard Florida weather is bad now. It, uh, no, not not where, where we are. No, we, we got, you know, we kind of stayed out of Debbie's issues <laughs> this time. Um, oh, man. I think we're about there. What do we... Uh, a couple questions on rates, you guys. I, I can tell you guys that, uh, that on refinances, I think there was a brand, Brandon I saw ask, and Brandon, we're we're seeing like rates in the in the fives right now, uh, with a little bit of cost, but it seems like it's it's been worth it. We've had some people kind of point that way, and we're only supposed to be we kind of keep moving that same direction. So Chase, stand by Chase Bank. That is an interesting handle. Um, <laughs> thank you, Roger, for saying that. We appreciate you. We love you guys for following and just yeah. engaging and asking questions. And yeah, last, thanks, last question, would you recommend putting money down even with the VA loan user 268? Not always, not usually, because usually putting a little bit of money down doesn't really move the needle that much um, because you're amortizing the loan over a 30 year period of time. So we like cash. Cash is king. We like you guys being leveraged. Now you have to be smart about it. We're not wanting you to be overextended. Um, so really you're better off putting money into like paying off high interest rate debt and high yield savings count, having some money in savings. If it's all of your money that you're thinking about putting down, I would say no, keep some of your money. Hey, Seuss, I see you, man. So I'll, I'll just tell you this. So you're a vet, you own a trucking business. Can you buy a, a, a house with bank statements and no W-2s? So there is such a thing as bank statement loans and we do offer it, but you, you don't need to go that route. That's like non-QM, typically the rate's higher. So on something like that, we'd still look VA. We're just looking to make sure that you have two filed tax years and, and typically we can go off that income um, if there is any income. If at that point we go through taxes, we just don't see that there is any viable income there or not enough, then of course we can look at a bank statement loan, but we would always start with your VA that's gonna be way more advantageous. So, um yep sorry good night amy. good night amy good night with a v appreciate all you guys good don't night, forget to guys. like and follow brooke and i go live monday tuesday wednesday snoopy the sparky will the va cover land cost of basement plumbing water electrical and manufactured home yes it will yeah yep um but yes your, your taxes yep for your, your business taxes correct crash tiffer what's our interest rate today if it's less than six and a quarter i'll switch crash tiffer it depends on what kind of loan what your credit score is mm -hmm. so very likely we could get you less than six and a quarter can you dm me um and I can text you and then you can send me a copy of your loan estimate so I can see what the other company is offering and how it's structured. So appreciate the likes and the follows and the questions. You guys have been awesome for this whole two hours. I don't know that you've all been here the whole time, but a lot of good questions. Probably not. But those of you that have, thank yeah, you for being patient troopers. with us. <laughs> yeah. We will be live again tomorrow night. Yep. At, at, we're supposed to be live at nine. Yeah. Tonight. We're we got to get dinner. Nine. We got to get dinner done earlier. We, yeah. we are eating late. So. Lot, lot to do in a day. Thank you guys though. We'll see you yep. tomorrow. Have a great night. Or maybe not. <laughs>